Oh, these babies are just as fat as they want to get. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to Granny. Hey, Zara, give her a hug. Oh, Granny loves you. And I love you too. <laughs> you do. You found danger. Are you poor or fat? Granny, I remember when. Um, when um, okay, let me get my hug in. You look great. <laughs> the pictures and video of me is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mama, how are you doing? Well, what? I love you. I miss you, too. You always smell the same. <laughs> you do. You always smell the same. <laughs> yeah, I miss you, too. I miss all y'all. I'm in second grade now. You're you almost in kindergarten. <laughs> you, you go to the kindergarten? About 50 years. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stay home. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Wait, what was that? I'm going to mess the camera up. No. Okay, one, two, three, climb a tree. <laughs> one, two, three, big cheese. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. Okay, so we're at the Children's Museum and uh, I didn't film all the stuff. There's a lot of pictures, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now it's time to get some food and I can't wait because I am really, really hungry. But uh, yeah, so got the fam all up there, ready to get in line. So I don't know if I'm zoomed in. Yeah, I'm zoomed in on it. So, all right. Okay, well, I am here uh, in, I think this is Greenwood, the Greenwood part of Indianapolis. Noelle and uh, the girls are visiting her family while we were here. We were supposed to leave today. Today is Sunday. Uh, so we were supposed to leave, but uh, she, because she was on the fence whether or not she wanted to meet her family while we were here or not. Um... And so she had decided at the, uh, I think yesterday, that she wanted to see them. Now, before we left Kentucky, uh, she told my mom that we will either be back on Sunday or Monday. Uh, so uh, she wasn't really sure. So we leave uh, tomorrow morning early. I'm here. I didn't want to visit her brother. Her brother and I are okay. You know, there, there's no issue there, but I just wasn't feeling it, to be honest with you. Uh, I just did not really feel that it was uh, I just didn't feel like doing it, to be honest with you. Um, and with re after visiting her brother, they're supposed to go and visit her family, her mom and dad and uh, probably her sister and her uh, nephews and I won't be going to that now Zoe is not going to be going to that she told me that she didn't want to go uh, there I had told her you know pretty much the circumstances and whatnot um, that you know it's up to her if she wants to go Noelle said it's up to her if she wants to go and so she told me at that time right before getting into the car here that she didn't want to go to that um, but if she does that's fine uh, you know I talked to my mom about it I talked to one of the families that here that I do consider family is uh, what we call our Cuban cousins and uh, they're really good friends of Noel uh, they treat us like we're family uh, and uh, Noelle's friend's mom is just such a wonderful person, and uh, the grandma is such a wonderful person. So we, um, and you know, and got to visit, uh, uh, you know, our friend's 
kid, which we had never seen him before. So we got to meet him, and he's just a wonderful, wonderful little kid, too. So we saw a lot of pictures and stuff like that of him, but this is the first time seeing him. And it's the first time they got to see Zeta. Uh, and Zeta, we have a tradition where all of the kids would sit in the fruit basket. And, of course, Zeta was much older at this point than Zoe and Zara was when they sat in the fruit basket. So, uh, but we still were able to get her into the fruit basket and put some fruit around her. And so she loved it. Uh, and so we took pictures, but that was the only reason why I'm here, to be honest with you. I don't really have any family here. I think my uncle moved back here just a week ago. Um, because he had he had originally lived here, moved to uh, Kentucky, and then while I was down there, they told me that he recently moved back up here. I uh, called him, but his phone was uh, his cell phone went to message voicemail. So I don't know if I'm going to see him while I'm here, but he's always down in Kentucky all the time. So while I'm down there, which we still have a long time to go, uh, while I when I go back home. Well, back to my mom's place, he may end up driving down there anyway, because he's down there all the time. So I'll see him then. If not, I'll see him some other time. But he's a really, really cool guy as well. Uh, in Kentucky, I got to meet one of the guys that helped kind of raise me. Um, and so it was great seeing him, great seeing my uncle, my other uncle. Um, so it was really, really good. Great seeing my mom, my sister. There's still many more people that I want to meet. Uh, so when we go back down there, that'll be great. But as far as here, I didn't really care to come up here other than to see our Cuban cousins. Uh, if they were not here, I really wouldn't be here to be honest with you. But, uh, the car is in my name, which is actually, this is a nice car. It's a Jeep. Uh, I don't know what kind of Jeep. Uh, but it's a Jeep. Hold on. What, is this? what does it say? There's grass all on the side of the thing because of my uncle's uh, mowing my mom's yard and it got grass everywhere. I don't know what type of Jeep it is, but I'll put it in the uh, if I remember, I'll put it here as to what it is. But it's nice, it's kind of strange because when you're sitting idle, the engine just shuts off, so it, it's kind of strange because you think, uh oh car died or it'll shake when it when you start to move and it's such a weird thing because um i thought these were people that i knew but i don't know them um it's such a weird thing because you're thinking your car has died but it hasn't but anyway um yeah that is pretty much it i'm gonna get off of here i have to go and pick them up here in a few minutes and then drop them off again Okay, so I'm going to do this video um, that talks about, that finishes up our trip when we were actually in Indiana and in Kentucky and Tennessee. Uh, for some reason, it, I was having really a lot of equipment issues that day, so I uh, didn't record. Um, I tried to record what I was trying to say, but it just didn't happen. Um, and after Noelle went to visit her brother, and the girls went and visit her brother and uh, his wife and uh, their daughter. I sat there and waited in the car because I just didn't feel like going. I didn't think that I was there, but then I left and went someplace, got a newspaper for my sister and just, you know, went and had lunch by myself. And, you know, that was pretty much the gist of it. She called me to pick her up to take her over to her mom's house, her mom and dad. So I did that. I went and picked them up, went over there and um, Zoe decided that she wanted to go see her grandmother. And I made these comments whenever I was there at the time, and I still feel this way. I didn't go in, obviously, um, but prior to them going in, I shook Noel's brother's hand and uh, his wife to let them in to greet their um, baby, which is about Zeta's age, just a little bit older, a month or two. But to let them know, no hard feelings. It's just, I don't really, they haven't made much of an effort on their end to really keep communication going so you know uh and i think that partially they while they are cool and they're fine i think that they somewhat agreed with noelle's parents which is the wrong position because their position and i still hold this their position on me was just completely incorrect and now things have changed to the point of where her parents health has deteriorated 
Um, and so there's no point in me being uh, mean and ruthless to them, and which I never was. Uh, but there's no point in me kicking someone when they're down, and that's just not who I am. I do believe in karma, uh, and so that's why I try to treat people with the most respect I can. It doesn't matter if someone's a bigot, and I've seen many a bigots in my day, and racist. Uh, they may deny that they are, you know, a person may deny that they're a racist or a bigot, and that's fine, they can deny it, but the facts prove otherwise, and I just typically allow those people to be them and be their truth, and then I'll let everything else fall where it may. Uh, but I would never be friends with them, with a person who is a bigot, a person who is a rapist, a person who is a thief, a thug, a killer, any of those. I just don't associate with that type of stuff. And I equate all of those types of people in the same bracket. And a lot of people who don't think that they're a bigot or a racist or they practice discriminatory things, a lot of people don't think they fit that category, but they actually do. Um, and so I just stay clear of them. Doesn't matter what color they are, black, white, Asian, Hispanic, if that's what you fit into, uh, whether it's a joke, whether you made it on purpose, I just literally, I, I don't have time for that. I don't associate with those types of people. I may be okay with you to your face, and I'm not going to be rude and disrespectful necessarily, but my thought and opinion of you is that you're basically trash. So... With that said, I took her to her mom and dad's house. And I, you know, wanted the kids to make a decision on whether or not they wanted to go. And of course, Zara wanted to go. You know, Zara's big into family. She loves family. In fact, when we were uh, in Kentucky, um, she always, before that, wanted to, you know, meet her Aunt Lulu, which she had seen her before. Uh, her nickname is Lulu. And so that's all she talked about. And talking about seeing Granny. And that's, I mean, Zara loves family. And Zoe does too. Well, the fact that my sis, my wife, well, Noelle's brother has a, a child, that made it even better. They wanted to definitely see her, and I was totally cool with that. Well, when it came to her parents, uh, of course, Zeta, you know, she doesn't know any different. Zara wanted to, Zoe said no, and then later she changed her mind once we, um, once she saw her, uh, Noelle's brother's daughter, right? So her cousin, basically. So, and I was fine with that because I don't know when we're going to go back there, to be honest with you. I know it's not going to be next year because we're going to be busy with stuff here. And her parents' health has deteriorated so quickly in a short amount of time, I mean really bad, that it could be a while before we get there and they may not be around, right? So I wanted, and I did not want to be the one where someone, whether it's on Noelle's side of the family or the kids or Noelle, just say, blame me that you didn't allow the kids to come see them and this, that, and the other stuff. So I said, that's fine. If they want to see them, I will not. I will not go there and sit amongst them. It doesn't matter how healthy or how not healthy they are. I'm not going to be disrespectful to anybody, but I'm just not going to sit there. When you had the opportunity, when you were healthy and fine, to be a human being, you decided not to be. So I, I value that opinion, and so I will continue to not support that. Um, even if you've moved on, even if you've changed your, your mindset, you haven't told me that you've changed your mindset. So I take you as the way you were when I last saw you. Some people may disagree or agree, but I don't really care. That's kind of how I, I viewed it. So, but I wanted the kids to definitely go see them because again, two parts. I don't want somebody saying I kept them away, which is what her family would often say about Noelle. I kept her from them, which was one of the most ridiculous, stupid things. You guys know Noelle very well, that she is very much her own person. I can tell her, hey, don't do this, or don't do that, or you know, that's probably not a smart idea, and she'll do it anyway. You know, like, Noelle's her own person, and that's the whole point. <laughs> you know, like, you can't control Noelle, and that's just not the person I am. But her family thought that, which they found out later that, no, Noelle's just who she is. There's a fly in here, so if you see something buzzing around, that's what it is. The girls left the door open. But, <clears throat> so... 
And I didn't want them to, the kids to say, well, I didn't get a chance to meet them. They met my mom and my family, but they didn't get to meet Noelle's family. So I wanted to make sure that I was not a part of any of that. And whatever emotional feelings that people had afterwards, that's that's their thing, you know. Um, but I didn't want to be uh, a distraction, whether it was with her brother and uh, his family or with Noelle's mom and dad. I didn't want to be a distraction, which her brother and his wife also was, was there as well. And so afterwards, it was a very, after they left, I sat there in the driveway the whole time because Noelle said it may not be a very long time that she's there. And her brother also agreed that it may not be that long uh, that they're going to be there because of the conditions of which her, 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 uh, their mom is. And I said, cool, I'm not going to go anywhere. You know, by the time I leave and come back, it, it's, I might as well just sit there and not waste the gas, right? And I didn't mind. I actually tried to do a video and it just didn't work. <laughs> it, 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 I don't know. I was having issues that day. So when they Noelle left, her parents came out. I got out of the car, made sure that Zeta was in the car, um, buckled up because she was giving us a hard time last time. And then I went and I shook her dad's hand and I shook her mom's hand. And her uh, mom said, it's been a very long time. And I said, yes, it has. I got back in the car. I allowed Noelle, of course, to say whatever she wanted to say to them. I was not there. I don't know what the conversation was, but it was a very emotional side for, or part time for her parents, her brother and his wife and Noelle. There's a lot of tears being shed right there. Um, but I didn't know exactly at that time what the conversation was. I now know what that conversation is. I'm not gonna put it out there, but you know, I, I, hopefully things that were not resolved back in the day were resolved or at least addressed. And Noelle says she felt a whole lot better. Uh, for me, I felt great that, you know, this, this happened, which was something that I thought should have happened back when I tried to get everybody on the phone back in the day, if you know the story. Uh, and I'll link that video down below, which talks about um, my racist in-laws. But I wanted, that was the whole point. I could care less what your view of me is. And that's how I am about everybody. It's not just, I'm a pretty thick skinned person. So it doesn't matter what a stranger may say or think of me, whether they're on YouTube, Facebook, whatever, I can care less. Um, I don't care what people think of me, even when it comes to Noelle's family or even my own mom. I just, I have a very thick skin. Now, would it, I got to turn the heat or the air over here. It's getting hot in there. Now, would I question if my mom had something to say about me that I didn't like? Sure. But would it really bother me and rattle me? I'm just too thick skinned for that. And basically where I grew up, you had to have a thick, I mean, I was, I grew up and went uh, to school in Bowling Green, Kentucky. So you have to have a thick skin. And so that really and truly has kind of shaped my outlook on a lot of things that I just, since I dealt with so much ignorance early on, not due to my, my family, but due to other people in school, um, I just don't have time for that. You know, like there's not anything, something that there's not anything someone can say that would rattle me or that I haven't heard before, but it's just, I don't entertain that. You know, one of the things that holds true is that, you know, I'm very careful with who I allow to rent space in my head. And so, you know, when I made the video about uh, my racist in-laws, a lot of people were saying, well, why were you trying so hard? And why were you being such a simp and all this? It's not that. I mean, I'm nobody's, you know, whipping post. My whole point was, was that by having, you know, Noel in the equation, I wanted to make sure that I put the right foot forward so that there wouldn't be any tension between her and her family. That's what I cared about. Me, I could care less whether or not I saw him again or not. But I wanted to make sure that they were straight. No one really was trying to make that happen at that time. But it seems like now things have changed and at least people can have a better outlook than what they were going to have. So that's what the video was about that didn't actually get recorded. 
uh, and I wanted to add that to that piece so that I could finish the whole chapter of from day one to day 10 that we were actually in Kentucky, Indiana, and Tennessee. Started off kind of crazy with the rental car, but it ended on a really, really positive note with uh, Noelle's family and with my family. Got to see my sister who was sick as well, uh, and she's doing a lot better. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this long series and this long video. And until next time, I will see you. Take care.